Let's see what we got here. Oh, a soul and a Kai. Those are two characters I know. And it's 30 minutes of footage. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Let's see what these characters do. Let's see what these players do. Kind of, kind of poking. Lots of just defense. A couple of errant hits, but it doesn't look like they can really get a whole lot from those hits. That was that far. That was the little plant thing you can do, and then the projectile sped it up. Ooh, ooh, ooh! It kept going. The meaty pressure with the the stamp thing. Very interesting. He can do it media, and it stays on the opponent's wake up. Just defend. What are the requirements for the parry? Could he have done a parry there? You know, like the the any two buttons, whatever bullshit. I don't know if it's any two buttons. I, I forget the input. I did heavy slash and slash to execute it. But I forget the actual, like, any other input. How long does that little stamp last? Uh, that's, that's the not quite Terry movies doing. It looks like pretty much exactly the way Terry uses it, which is lots and lots of safe pressure. What happens differently if you charge that move? Does it become an overhead? I know it loses its early hits, but what does it get in return? Does it do longer hit stun? Oh, the DP didn't hit properly. Could he have still gotten the kick there? I have so many questions now. Now that I like know what's I almost know what's going on. So he used the he used the red 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 room and cancel to combo out of the throw there. This matchup does not look very much like Re vs. Ken, except for the fact that they're the two main characters. Maybe Soul could very, very loosely be Ryu. But not really. I imagine the non-charged one is much better, and I imagine the charged one is much better in combos. That little uh, exclamation point means he blocked wrong, right? They have that in a lot of anime games. I didn't realize it was in this one. He flashed red there. Why did he flash red? These Kai combos are pretty cool. Oh, my video finished. I'm going to start uploading it to YouTube. Hold on. But I want to keep on watching this. Oh, hold on. Keep on rocking. There we go. The upload has begun. Red flash is counter hit, and exclamation point means blocked wrong. Duly noted. There's that jump uh, dust or whatever. What's the name of that move again? The normal? The dust is on? Does that normal have a name? Is it just the dust normal? Is it D? I like forgot. I forgot what letter that is. It's D, right? <coughs> Kai seems a little more projectile heavy. A little more poke heavy. A little more defensive. Classically, Ryu is slightly more defensive than Ken. Although that's rarely true. Usually they're about the same amount of defensive. It is the dust normal. That towards heavy looks like it has heavy slash. Looks like it has lots of good good pressure. Looks plus. Kai looks a little more pokey. Looks like a kind of poke guy. A little more projectile base. Just the counter hit. He could have blocked that, right? But he got countered. That was a double overhead. Jump in chains versus jump in single hit and then immediate lows. Probably a, a mix up, right? It is in Street Fighter. For the few characters who have multi hit air attacks. Probably a much better version of it in anime games. He must have had a combo there. It was a burst because he was going to die. 
<gasps> can you die to chip? You can, right? That, that looked like some chip, maybe. Looked like a death to chip. He wouldn't have done that if it wasn't going to chip out, I bet. That was cool. He got a nice conversion. That meaty uh, projectile. Ah, uh, the presence of a dive kick is already strong. These soul combos are weird as fuck. I like them. They look very non-fundamental. Soul looks not very fundamental at all. But I guess fundamentals are just different. There's no difference in frame data chaining into something versus just doing it, right? Like in, in boost combos and cross tech and if you chain into something, the frame data would be much worse. I imagine this game doesn't do that. I imagine it's more like Marvel. That's a trade. That was a combo? He could have escaped that, right? How do you know when someone... Danger mode. Oh, okay, that was a hit, but it wasn't just immediate murder. This is probably going to kill, right? Didn't quite kill. He dropped his combo. What was I saying before danger mode? Counter is black, it means you could tech. Oh, okay. Blast has like a system where it has like little, like the hits that you could have teched between. So black means a drop combo where he didn't flip out. I've never really watched Guilty Gear before, like any version of Guilty Gear. I like saw some, I watched Evo Guilty Gear, and I saw some like older Guilty Gear, like some Venom player, and I was like, damn, Venom is crazy. And I've seen uh, a couple of replays of Marlon Pie playing this game, playing Zato, and I was like, damn, this looks cheap. Marlon Pie looks like a cheap ass. I was impressed. I wasn't sad. I wasn't like disappointed that Marlon Pie was a cheap ass. Cheap ass. I was like, damn, there's some cheap stuff in this game, and Marlon Pie seems to be the master of it. There must be a component of bursting, like a better combo to burst would be a combo where the opponent, where it's like a really high damage starter. Or, like, a weak starter, and then the opponent, like, spends meter. Like, if he gets, like, a really random connect, and then he burns a red rum and cancel, and then you burst, that seems like it would be a really good burst. Also bursting so you don't die. Burst early to get two bursts. That's actually a strategy in Street Fighter 4. If you ultra early, you'll get two ultras, and two ultras do more damage than one full ultra, generously more. It's better to get off early ultras. Fun little fact. You don't burst during the opponent's room and cancel. Oh, do you, does your burst get slowed down or something? Does it become, like, reactable? <laughs> Ooh, that was cool. Alright, that seems like a nice balancing factor. Is that an overhead? And core circle back punch or whatever it is. <sighs> Elena. Elena gets more ultra meter than most characters because of the way healing functions. That's probably the most actually defective thing about healing.
That move still looked like good meaty pressure, even though he didn't have the stamp set up. Those are ejected, but he didn't get any damage. This looks like a big punish. Burst. Yeah, he probably stopped a really strong combo there. That was the command grab, right? No, that was his normal throw, wasn't it? Ooh, that was cool. He went through the projectile, probably predicting it. So what's carried between rounds? Does your tension gauge reset? I haven't actually been paying attention to that. Does your burst reset? I imagine your burst doesn't reset. It might. I gotta, like, pay attention. The anti-air crouch fierce. You can't uh, air block a lot of crouching moves, right? So grounded anti-airs are probably quite a thing. Tension resets, burst you keep. But you can uh, taunt after a round, right? And then that gives people tension at the start of the next round. So they would have... There's, they get some, but they would have had none. What's an FD stand for again? I need to learn all my anime lingo. Faultless defense. Okay. That was a that was a that was a burst that gave him a punish opportunity. That that must be unusual. He bursted at such a time where the DP whiffed. Is there like a meta around like bursting at certain times so the burst doesn't hit and then getting punishes? That's crazy. I didn't even think of such a thing. That must be very uncommon. So he's doing repeat adjusts by like tapping the button, right? I might start streaming Guilty Gear. I need someone kind of bad to play against. But I'll rapidly improve. So I need someone kind of bad who will rapidly improve, or else a bunch of kind of bad people who are all varying levels of kind of bad. I've never played against a human opponent. I have no idea what's going on. I need to learn some B&Bs. I need to watch more before I can really play. Or rather, I can play now, but I'll suck. He baited the burst, and now he's punishing it. I understand what's happening here. That was an extremely strange combo. I think that press was supposed to hit. Bad block on the low. So is it only crouch kick and crouch dust that are low blocks? Are those really the only two lows? And then maybe like a low special move here and there. Or like a low command normal, like uh, Jin's little fucking slide thing. Take confirming in the air, at least at a basic level, from what I understand in a lot of anime games, is you can do it really easily if you use a lot of lights. But also that scales your combo to shit. That looks very difficult to get out of once that full combo hit. Never tell where combos end in this game. Mm. 
Not yet. L step kick looks good. Yeah, right, low is just our non standard. I'm waking up at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Excuse me, today. That's in about five hours. That looked like a punish. But could he have rejected it? Like a counter reject? Oh, he supered and then Roman cancelled because he didn't like the super? Roman cancelling a super looks like it's going to take a fuck ton of meter. But you're Roman cancelling it before it hits, right? So it's like a... One of them. Ooh, that conversion. And the burst. He was safe to burst. That was like as well as that could have gone. What a nice punish. Closing a game with a burst safe combo seems quite difficult most of the time. Seems like a high level thing to think about. the dust attack maybe I'm a little on hype maybe I'm a little too mellow I don't often sound excited Ooh, all those lights. Look at that. That was cool. That stamp. Doesn't last that long. Very pokey. There's some pokey nonsense going on right now. That was a really good convert from far away. Converting out of far poke seems good. Repeated lows what, or what uh, broke him. I wonder what kind of overhead he was expecting. Is this going to kill? Oh, it didn't quite. It looked like he was like a hit or two away. And a successful throw. In anime games, you can break a throw on reaction. Is this, this common? Can you break a throw on reaction in this game? I got Guilty Gear on PS3, which I will probably never play again, and PC now. But I've only played Guilty Gear like two times ever, so I'm not really playing it yet. But I have vague plans too, since now I own it and all that.
So throws are a little bit more Street Fighter-y and a little bit less anime-y. One frame tech window that small? What? That's minuscule. Those are like borderline untechable. that anti-air kick. Having a single normal devoted to kick kind of reminds me of um, um, what's that game? Soul Calibur. I mean, you can't react to throws in the Street Fighter, but it's still like 10 frames to tech them. 10 frames just isn't a very long time. It takes a person about 20 frames to react to something. A little less than that. But 10 is not enough. How far are we on this upload? 30%. Man, I'm going to be up so late. I can just deal with it tomorrow morning. I'm really tired. Oh, the DP through stuff. Soul's DP seems pretty good. Kai's DP seems pretty good. Kai seems more combo friendly. That stamp does absolutely nothing, right? Apart from, like, making projectiles bigger and having a hitbox when he initially places it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like Soul needs to be careful of it or anything. Could have gone for the slide there, right? He went for the pressure instead. Soul with his good ass uppercut. Ragnar with his good ass uppercut. Ryu with his good ass uppercut. Kazuya with his good ass uppercut. I'm sensing a theme. At least Scorpion doesn't hit you with an uppercut. That was a cool combo. I like soul combos. I like all the combos in this game I've seen. So Sin is Kai's kid, right? How old is Kai? Who's his wife? I have so many questions. Kai looks pretty young. Isn't Kai like a king? I heard someone say that one time. What is a guilty gear? Who is Soul? Is he actually evil? Or is he like pretend evil? He seems pretend evil. Are these two friends or bitter enemies? Or just like rivals? 
Sin is Kai's brother. Oh. Souls like Trigon. That makes sense to me, I hate to admit it. But I understand. Alright, we got two votes for its son. Does he use the waifu to Kai? I don't even know what a Dizzy is. Not a playable character, doesn't exist. Was she playable in like other... Other Guilty Gear? Whoa! They didn't hit. Sin is five? Was Sin made for this game or did he already exist? The double reject. That was a very cool combo. I spent a long time trying to get one of those combos. He just did it. Oh, that looked like a like a bait almost. It looks like a lot of the low sweeps, crouch dust, whatever, um, low profile. A lot of them have animations like that. So gears are people, but they're weapons. Like, like, super soldier kind of thing? Or does, like, fucking soul's mouth open up and a gun pops out? That burst. This not quite 2D is so amazing. I love it. I love the animations in this game. This we're trying really hard to fool you that we're 2D but we're not. Looks so good. I adore some good sprite work and this is in my mind, good sprite work, even though it's not. SDP looks cross up proof, I gotta admit. Oh, yeah, dragon install. That makes Soul less like a person and more like a weapon. Dude, these low profiles are fucking him up. It looks like you can combo out of some throws, but not others. Or maybe some of them just require uh, more meteor to combo out of, like a Roman Cancel or something. It's common in anime fighters to be able to combo out of throws, and it's rare that a character can't combo out of a throw, if most characters can. I love when fucking weird ass names of video games, of Japanese video games, like make sense. But only if you fucking do hella, hella work into the lore. 
Like, I remember someone explaining the title of um, Under Night and Birth to me. Under Night and Birth EXE Late. I was like, what the fuck, this is just a series of random words. And then he was like, no. There's a sense to it all. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it makes enough that you can understand it. I love the idea of a throw that special cancels, and then like trying to make B&B &B combos out of that. That seems to be the way that Blazblue did it, in most cases, although some of them just like end in a juggle state. <laughs> 